South Korea inaugurated a new president this week, Mr. Yoon Sok Yeol. He takes office at a time of increasing tension on the Korean Peninsula. And during his campaign, he foreshadowed some shifts in the policy towards North Korea uh, compared to the previous government that favored more of an engagement approach. Mr. Yoon says that he will strengthen the alliance with the United States uh, to include by conducting new military exercises, and he will pursue development of additional preemptive strike capabilities to deter North Korean coercion. In his inauguration remarks, he did raise the potential for new talks with North Korea, uh, and he said that he would be happy to author an audacious plan to strengthen North, North Korea's economy if Kim Jong-un were willing to take genuine steps towards denuclearization. Now, this plan sounds on the face of it quite similar to that pursued by President Trump and his diplomacy with Kim Jong-un in 2018 and 19, a plan that, that didn't really work out. The probability that Mr. Yoon's new policy towards North Korea will be successful is actually quite low. In fact, North Korea appears to be headed in the other direction in strengthening its nuclear capabilities. Already this year, it has tested some 15 times nuclear capable missiles, and it is rumored to be about to conduct a seventh explosive test of nuclear weapons, uh, a so-called tactical nuclear weapon, sometime in the next couple of weeks before President Biden is due to visit here in Seoul for his first summit meeting uh, with President Yoon. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has also indicated that he's rethinking his nuclear policy and could use nuclear weapons in a more offensive way. This suggests a coming period of growing dangers on the Korean Peninsula. The Biden administration's strategy towards North Korea is effectively status quo. Continue economic pressure through sanctions, uh, strengthen the ROK-US alliance, and remain willing to talk to North Korea if North Korea ever responds to US overtures. That's unlikely to change with the new administration here in Seoul. What is likely to change is the pacing and scope of efforts to strengthen the ROK-US alliance. Now, there is some potential for divergence here. South Korea is increasingly concerned about nuclear coercion from North Korea uh, and wants to have the United States strengthen uh, its extended deterrence guarantees. Whereas the U.S. continues to be more focused on China and the Indo-Pacific strategy and trying to draw South Korea into a broader containment approach towards China.